Pour être informé de ces prochaines manifestations, écrire votre nom à l'extérieur sur la petite table. Vous mettez vos noms, vos adresses et vos téléphones. Ainsi, elle pourra prendre contact avec vous et vous informer de ses prochaines apparitions. Pour ce qui nous concerne, dans cette même pièce, le 2, c'est-à-dire samedi prochain, nous aurons euh, le marché de mai. Si vous avez envie d'acheter des petites bricoles françaises, des fromages, du vin, des petits objets français, des disques, des livres, des tas de choses, des bérets basques même, vous pouvez venir ici, nous aurons notre petit marché. Et le lundi 4 à 19h, la compagnie du théâtre de la Pirouge de Rouen sera ici pour un ensemble de présentations de poèmes, des sketchs, des extraits de pièces de théâtre tout à fait contemporains, Raymond Queneau, François Karadec, Maurice Dian, etc., etc. Des gens, je crois, dont certains vont déjà vous devenir familiers tout de suite. Sylvie basic truth about romance. It's so good when I hold him in my arms to think that all of it is mine. Passers by are jealous when they see us together. I can believe how charming he is, not to mention the things I can't speak about in polite company. <laughs> Thank you. 
But when I see a woman on her bike wearing pants like a zouave, I think that the petticoat is what makes the woman. Of course, when you ride a bike, pants are more comfortable. But without the foufou, a woman is not complete. When I see her petticoat, I feel dizzy. The foufou is like a caress of feathers. is a song written after the true story of Edith Piaf. Um, the music is um, by uh, Marguerite Monod and the words are by Raymond Asso. And at this time, I think he was Edith Piaf's uh, husband or lovers. He had so many I can keep track. And um, we'll never know what the, what the true story was, but this is what Raymond Asso made of the story. Um, he had large, clear eyes that would sometimes reflect the lightning the tattoo on his heart said, nobody here, that's the way to let people you're available. I don't know his name, I know nothing about him. My legionnaire made love to me all night. He was thin, handsome, and carried a good smell of hot sand. The story goes on. The man disappears, the woman weeps, 
and regrets that she ever let him go. And the last verse is found dead in the desert. <coughs> Uh, into French for Edith Piaf. 
Uh, I think the uh, American title is um, Black Denim. Black. What does it say here? <laughs> Black Denim Trousers and Motorcycle Boots. <clears throat> it tells of another tough man who makes a girl unhappy, this time by dying in a motorcycle accident. He wore black leather, never washed, and loved his motorcycle more than his girlfriend, the poor Mary Lou. Uh, in the American song, it's, uh, he dies going, going down on the Highway 101. So it's even a California song. And in French, it's, um, what does it say in French? I think it's the, it's, it's the, you know, our old um, South Highway, which is, uh, which used to be uh, National Set. famous thanks to Barbara Streisand, it's my man. But let's not forget that it was originally Spanish, mi hombre, and then it became French, mon homme. On this earth, my only happiness is my man. I give up everything for him. He's not rich, nor handsome, or strong, but I love him. He hits me, takes my money from me. But as soon as I see him, I become a slave. I'm like a dog. Well, it says that. I'm not, you know, I'm not inventing the word. It does say. <laughs> Don't blame me. Je l'ai dans la peau. I've got him under my skin. No. <laughs>
vrai dire, n'est faite que pour souffrir par les hommes. Dans les balles, j'ai couru afin de l'oublier. J'ai pu rien à faire. J'ai pas pu quand il me dit viens. Je suis comme un chien. Y a rien à faire, c'est comme un lien qui me retient. she goes to the club where he plays and listens to him. She has a passion for music. Then there is war. She dreams her accordionist will come back and play again for her, but he never comes back. She looks sad and has no customers. In the same club, she starts dancing to the accordion, accordion music until she loses her sanity.
René about love, love, which makes boom. <laughs> asylum for three years. She has forgotten why. When the people in white come to sedate her, she vaguely associates the color of the uniform with the memory of her wedding day where her hand was holding hers. In the second verse, she has been there for eight years. The memory becomes clearer as she claims that she is not insane, not mad. She remembers the hand holding hers and a voice saying, I will love you always. <coughs> Il y avait du soleil tout autour. 
了啦。When you take me in your arms, I see life through rose-colored glasses. La vie en rose. Edith Piaf composed the lyrics and the melody herself, but she could not be the official composer because of some obscure French regulation. None of her writer friends thought much of the song, and it would have been lost to us if somebody called Louis Guy had not agreed to sign for it and also arrange it.
jeudi suivant. Ah d'accord. Il y aura une vraie lumière, là, tout va bien, une lumière publique. D'accord. Jeudi prochain, c'est ça don't know uh, Boris Vian, um, I want to tell that he was um, a wonderfully gifted person who wrote uh, novels and short stories, who um, um, did um, movies, X-rated movies, and uh, he did, uh, he played the trumpet in the Parisian clubs, and that was, I think, right after the war. And uh, he's just an, a very, a very wonderful writer, and he also wrote songs. And uh, this is a new song I'm trying to learn, and I need your help. Um, I'm going to translate it to you. But uh, if you don't know Boris Vian, become a member of the Alliance Française and get the books in the library. You have them, I hope. Yes, so, um, roll mops is a German word for a meal of herrings. And this song is called Rock and Roll Moss. Yeah. 
after picking up a girl easily because he has a special glow in his eyes and having divine sex with her is hungry and calls for food delivery. Among the feast are kangaroo schnitzels, lion liver, and of course, rollmops. After eating all of it, he goes back to bed with her. So, what you're going to have to do to help me is sing this. Okay, let's try. Rock and roll mops. One more time, and I want to hear you. Rock and roll mops. Oh, this is very good. Now, what you have to do is not do rock and roll mops, but it's rock and roll mops. Okay? <laughs> Systematically drink to forget about my wife's boyfriends. I systematically drink to forget about my worries. I systematically drink any bad wine as long as it has some 12 degrees and a half of alcohol. I systematically drink the worst of the wine, it's disgusting, but time passes faster. Is life so funny? Is life so lively? I'm asking you. Is love worth being experienced? Is love worth being betrayed? I am asking you those questions and nobody is answering me. So I systematically drink to forget about paying my rent. I systematically drink to forget I am not 20 anymore. I systematically drink to be drunk, to avoid looking at myself. I systematically drink as soon as I have some free time, not to face the fact that I should end my life.
Amants d'un jour, One Day Lovers. Um, the music of the song is by Marguerite Monod. Um, the young girl working in the hotel cafe remembers with envy the two lovers who rented a room. She was jealous of their glow and recalls how they looked so young and so much in love. When they are found dead in their bed the following day, she still envies their closeness. At the end of the song, nothing has changed in the hotel except for the girl who had a glimpse of fashion. Why don't you come in? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love can make you cry. 
You see, one gets all the chance, but they are easily taken away. Come on, my lord, enter my kingdom. I sing romance, I sing remorse, and the unlucky ones like you. Look at me, you've never looked at me. But you cried, my lord. I never would have imagined that. <laughs>
side of the street. A poor working girl complains about a miserable life and is jealous of the girl who lives across the street. Look at the That girl is rich, lives a life of luxury. One day, her lover comes in a small room on the seventh floor. Then she does not envy the other girl anymore, but she is envied by her because the poor girl has, has experienced true love. The rich girl only knows her old monsieur <coughs> and his gifts. <coughs>
This is the first and only song I ever heard about being gay, as well as the first time I ever heard about, about being gay, on the jukebox in my parents' cafe near Paris. It tells the life, lonely life, of a man with a fashion designer by day and drag queen at night. At dawn, he goes home but can't sleep. He thinks of a young man he's in love with. He will never dare tell him because that man spends most of his time in women's beds. Nobody is allowed to judge or blame me, he says. Only nature is responsible if I am a homo, as they say, comme ils disent. vieil appartement rue Sarrazade j'ai pour me tenir compagnie une tortue de canari et une chatte pour laisser maman reposer très souvent je fais le marché et la cuisine je l'ange je lave j'y suis à l'occasion
he stood up as I approached him. He was small, but muscular. He followed me to my room and I told him, go for it, my little wolf, hurt me. Johnny, send me to heavens, I like it rough, zoom. He only had his socks on, yellow with blue stripes. He looked at me like he did not understand anything. He told me, I'm sorry, I would not hurt a fly. Got on my nerves, I slapped him and told him, hurt me, Johnny, I'm not a fly. I called him terrible, terrible names and worse. That woke him up, he told me, stop playing games. If you want pulp novels, you're going to get it. No, Johnny, you hurt me. I don't like it rough. He put his shirt his blue suit and his shoes back on. He went down the stairs, leaving me with a dislocated shoulder. It's not worth putting out for such a hood. My butt is bruised, and I'll never say again, hurt me, John. Fais-moi mal. <laughs>
like to get back on track um, <laughs> with a very beautiful classic song of song by Edith Piaf, uh, L'hymne à l'amour, Anthem to Love, and this will be our last song for tonight. <laughs>
Sylvie, should I take it right up to the front right entrance? Yeah, and then I'll drive by. Okay. Are you filming for your school? Yeah, I'm filming. Morning, Lindsay. For, for her? Oh, sorry. Awesome. Do, do that. Non, mais tu, tu connais une, une femme qui s'appelle Paula Paula Paula, elle m'a dit qu'elle a pris des cours de chansons avec toi. Paula Anaheim. Paula Anaheim, elle n'a pas pris des cours avec toi. Non Non. Elle fait des massages, je ne sais pas, elle m'a dit qu'elle t'a reconnue à la télévision. Moi, j'ai pris des cours avec... Euh, j ai, j ai, j ai donné tu des donnes des cours, cours. c'est ça Non, mais très peu, j'ai donné des cours à Catherine. Oui. Ah, Paula, oui, 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 Paula, elle a pris un cours avec moi. Elle a pris un cours avec moi. Elle m'a appelé, elle m'a dit, tu connais qui est passé Je lui ai dit, je ne sais pas, c'est Madame Fournel qui l'a filmé. Et je ne connaissais même pas ton nom, finalement. J'avais mis euh, sans, sans te connaître. 